the Latin American dishes that I think sometimes gets overlooked here in America are empanadas. Empanada, for those of you who don't know, is basically a turnover or a pastry dough that's stuffed usually with meat and some kind of savory spices. But really, whenever you learn how to make the actual dough part, you can put anything you want in it. You can make a sweet empanada, you can make a spicy empanada, you can make a savory empanada. They are so versatile and so good. So of course today, we are going to learn how to make gluten-free, keto-friendly empanada. And if you want a printable version of this, you can check out my website at JanetsDeliciousLowCarbKitchen.com. You can find a printable version of this recipe and other goodies there for you. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, while you're down there clicking that subscribe button, right next to the subscribe button, there's a little bell. Make sure you click that bell so that way you could be notified every time I put out a new video. And while you do that, let's get cooking. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Line a large baking sheet with parchment paper. In a large food processor, combine 1 and 1 third cups almond flour, 1 half teaspoon coconut flour, 2 tablespoons softened butter, not melted, just softened, 1 and a half teaspoons room temperature water, one large room temperature egg, one eighth teaspoon of salt, and one eighth teaspoon of garlic powder. The garlic powder is optional. I like to add it because it gives the batter a little more flavor, but if you don't want the garlic taste in it, you don't have to have that. Process the ingredients together on medium low for 30 seconds at a time or until all the ingredients are combined and have come together to, to form a smooth dough. Now you only want to process this about 30 to 40 seconds at a time because you want to make sure that you scrape down any ingredients that might climb up the sides and you want to make sure that the dough isn't too dry or too moist. If it does seem like it's too moist and getting sticky, then just add a little tiny bit of almond flour a little bit at a time. In my processor, it took a total of about two minutes doing it in 30 second increments until everything was fully combined. I did it for about two minutes and that was perfect for me. But everybody's food processor is different, so you just need to be looking for the dough to be coming all together and forming that smooth dough. Line a clean work surface with parchment paper. Lightly dust the parchment paper with flour. Remove the dough from the processor and massage the dough in your hand several times before rolling it out. This is just to make sure that everything is fully combined, that the dough is smooth and that it's not too sticky. If it feels like it's sticking to your fingers, then dust your hands with a little bit more flour and massage it into the dough until it's not sticking to your fingers. Once the dough is no longer sticky, then roll the dough out onto your work surface until it's about one fourth inch thick. Then use a lid or other circular object and cut the dough into circles that are about three to four inches in diameter. I have a manual burger press and I just use the bottom part of that burger press because it's just about four inches in diameter so it makes it the perfect size for me. Once the dough has been cut into circles, then place the circles onto the prepared baking sheet. Spoon one to two tablespoons of filling into the center of each circle. Then fold the circle over in half to cover the filling. Use your fingers and press the edges of the dough together to make sure the edges are fully sealed. Then use a fork and gently press around the edges to make sure that the seal is complete and tight. Bake at 400 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes or until the empanadas are golden around the edges. Once you learn how to make the dough portion of the empanadas, 
you can fill it with any filling you want. You can fill it with the savory filling, you can fill it with the sweet filling, you can fill it with the spicy filling, whatever you want to fill it with, you can put in there and then just bake it for those 12 to 15 minutes or until it's nice and golden around the edges. For a quick meat filling, in a 12 inch skillet, place a half pound of ground beef or ground meat of your choice. Chop the beef into small pieces over medium heat. Sprinkle in about one teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of salt, a fourth teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon chili powder, a half teaspoon cumin, and stir these all together until they're fully combined with the meat. Cook over medium heat for about five to seven minutes or until the meat is no longer pink. Drain the fat off, return the meat to the skillet, and stir in one fourth cup of salsa. Cook on medium for another three to five minutes or just until the salsa has been heated through. Once it's all cooked, you can spoon this one to two tablespoons in the center of the empanada. I usually like to sprinkle a little bit of cheese over the meat mixture before I bake it, but it's up to you whether you want the cheese or not. Once the circles have been filled, fold the dough over the filling, press to seal the edges, and bake it at 400 for 12 to 15 minutes or until it's golden. Once it's baked, serve it with guacamole, salsa, sour cream, or any of your other favorite taco toppings. Eat and enjoy. And that's our recipe of the day. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to see more videos like this, then make sure you click that thumbs up like button. Click the subscribe button. You could leave me a comment if you want to. Let me know if there's any recipes that you'd like to learn how to make and I'll do what I can to get those out there for you. And as always, keep cooking.